किस पे करो मैंने तो वही किया था जो एक फाइव करके कर दूँ मैंने तो यही किया था चाहिए University in America? We are the Gemology Institute of America. Okay, and uh, you need a loan of 15 lakhs? Hello? Or you have been granted a loan? Hello? Yes? Hello? Ji, ji, actually, me go number about me or about the American ठीक है। कह रहा है कि कैसे बात करूं जिसका क्वेश्चन है? 
हाँ जी हैव यू बीन ग्रांटेड अ लोन और और यू नीड अ लोन आई नीड अ लोन ओके फिफ्टीन लैक्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू नीड टू प्रेजेंट द ऑफर लेटर ऑफ द यूनिवर्सिटी टू द बैंक सर आवाज नहीं आ रही सर आपकी हेलो Hello. Yes, I can hear you. Can you hear me, sir? Hello. 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 Sir, can you hear me? हाँ, अब आवाज आई सर आप बताइए सर. Thank you, sir. आपको if you need a loan, a you need to present a document to the bank, which is called an admission document or an I twenty. Hello. Hello. Can you hear me, sir? No, I'm not hearing you, sir. Sir, in order to get a loan, you need to present the I-20 to the bank. Beside that, you need to arrange for a collateral security based on which you've been given a loan. नहीं यहाँ पर किस ब्रांच में किससे कांटेक्ट करना पड़ेगा आप कांटेक्ट पर्सन का नाम दे सकते हैं सर श्योर वाई नॉट क्रेडिला बैंक के बारे में बोल रहे हैं आप एस डी एफ सी बैंक हाँ श्योर जस्ट गिव मी सेकेंड आई विल गिव यू दी टेलीफोन आप मुझे अपना फोन नंबर दे दीजिए मैं आपको कॉल बैक करा दूंगा हाँ मेरा नंबर लीजिए नाइन एट थ्री नाइन जीरो नाइन एट थ्री नाइन जीरो हाँ हाँ डबल वन डबल थ्री सिक्स डबल वन डबल थ्री सिक्स मिस्टर बंसल आपको विद इन वन आवर कॉल आ जाएगा कोई दिक्कत नहीं थैंक यू सर थैंक यू थैंक यू सर थैंक यू कुछ हेलो I'm just, I'm just running the presentation, and I will take the questions in another ten to fifteen minutes. So I'm just running the presentation. Now this presentation, I'm I'm a representative from an organization called Wisdom Mart. You can log on to the website also called Wisdom Mart. We help students uh, in three aspects. One of them is the preparation. The second one is the admission, and the third one is the visa. Obviously, once the visa is granted, we also assist students for loan through HDFC Bank. Preparation, admission consultancy, and visa counseling. Preparation. Let's talk about five major exams which a student needs to take in order to make themselves eligible to study abroad. GMAT, GRE, SAT, TOEFL, and IELTS. GMAT is generally known graduate management aptitude test. Anybody who intend to do MBA abroad or perhaps within India has to undergo this test. Second test is called GRE. That's again graduate record examination. Any graduate, which is called post graduate worldwide, any post graduate student who intend to study abroad, except management, all other 
programs requires an exam called GRE. Now, third one is called SAT. Anybody who intend to do a bachelor's degree from anywhere in the world, primarily from US, needs an exam called SAT, Scholastic Assessment Test. TOEFL, Test of English as a Foreign Language. Anybody who needs to study TOEFL, uh, the requirement of TOEFL is <coughs> because we belong from a country where English is not a native language. So this is a linguistic test and can be very easily substitute or replaced by an exam called IELTS. So these two tests, TOEFL and IELTS, they are the linguistic test. Now, let's understand why do we need these examinations? Each country has a different academic level. Each country has many universities and colleges. Now IITs, uh, University of Delhi, MDU, UP Tech, JP, plenty of universities and colleges in India. Now by virtue of taking these exams, University overseas determine the actual academic competence of an applicant. Anybody scoring 65% at the bachelor's level but their GRE or GMAT scores is above 90% indicate their competency. However, there could be institutions from where student scores 75 percent but in the preparatory examinations the prep exams they score fairly low so these exams act as a common benchmark and a reliable predictor of past present and future performances a lot of students also need scholarships so these exams are must for scholarships obviously when one needs to go for a visa, the visa officer asks for these examinations. So these exams have too many relevance and importance. Now these are few sites who will help you to give more information about these tests. Any query being sent on these websites will be immediately solved within next 24 hours. So these are the online resources. I want you to log into these sites and these are program specific websites. I expect all students to send queries to the relevant websites based on the requirement. Anybody who wants to study GMAT can log into gmatdelhi.com. can also email us. We have online resources on wmprep.com and you will be given a username and password for that purpose. Let's take an example of GMAT, Graduate Management Aptitude Test. Few facts about GMAT.
Indian School of Business in Hyderabad needs Indian School of Business Indian School of Business in Hyderabad, Great Lakes, Chennai, IIMs, PGPX programs, executive MBAs. Now GMAT was primarily considered a foreign exam. But now a lot of Indian universities except GMAT. So it is no longer a foreign test. It is almost competing with CAT or MAT. The content of a GMAT, two sections, verbal and quantitative. And there is also an essay, which is called analytical writing assessment. Beside that, one more portion, which is called IR, has been included. This is the new section which has been entered in the GMAT exam very recent ago. Let's talk about the verbal section. Reading comprehension, sentence correction and critical reasoning. The questions are classified into three sections. In totality there are 41 questions and they have been divided into three portions. The maths part, primarily two sections, problem solving and data sufficiency. However, problem solving has few topics commonly known as arithmetic, algebra, geometry, coordinate geometry, counting, This is a table.
Pero... Now, the MBA program, there are three types, two years MBA, one year MBA is called accelerated and executive MBA. Executive MBA is generally for the people with an experience of more than five years. A lot of European schools and Indian school, schools in Singapore offers a one year MBA program. A lot of North American University offers a two-year MBA program. Now, two years MBA is primarily U.S. You talk about Harvard, Stanford. A lot of two years. Now, some accreditation of the MBA agencies. You have to be very careful if you want to do an MBA. If your university abroad is not accredited by any of these or one of these organizations, then there's no point doing an MBA. And these are the top MBA US B schools, Harvard University, HBS, MIT, Sloan, Stanford's Business School, UPenn, Wharton, Northwestern, Kellogg, Chicago, Booth, Berkeley, Haas, Columbia Business School, and Tuck. Duke, Fuqua, Michigan, Ross, NYU, Stern, UCLA, Anderson, Virginia, Darden, Carnegie Mellon, Tepper, and North Carolina, Skeen and Flagler. Top universities in India, which admit students based on GMAT. GMAT is no longer an exam which is restricted to foreign education. It has a huge impact even if you want to study in India. There you go. Some top schools in UK. These all universities offer a one-year MBA program. Some excellent schools in Asia, Europe, and Spain. Singapore, NUS, Nanyang, again Singapore, Asian Institute of Management, HKUST, NSEED, Singapore, ISADE, NTC Paris,
graduate record examination. Now we are talking about GRE. Now GRE is an exam which is used which is used for higher studies or for the postgraduate education worldwide. However, except management, all other department except students based on their GRE performance. It again has three sections, verbal reasoning which is English, quantitative reasoning and writing. Now the verbal reasoning we are talking about analyzing and evaluate the written material, analyzing or strengthening your vocabulary skills, critical thinking, critical reasoning and reading comprehension and of course the sentence completion. Knowing difficult words and using them whether in a paragraph or in a complete or whether a word being utilized to complete the sentence is the key to crack this portion. The quantitative part and not very similar to GMAT but again 60 to 70 percent portion is a math which students generally undergo at the school level. And then there are questions, it's a computer based test and a time bound test. However, most of the engineers undertake the GRE. So the quantitative part is not that difficult. The last portion of GRE is a writing part. There is an essay, you need to write an essay, you have to gather the thoughts, you need to write in a constructive manner and in an organized manner. However, it is a 340 marks exam. The essay writing scores are not the part of 340. They have a different scale and different rating. My next slide is about the test content. Sixty minutes, thirty minute per section, another sixty minute, and another seventy minute. Three hours of exam, a very powerful exam. Test fees, very important to know. But after GRE,
any accredited graduate or professional school for any department division within school may require or recommend that its applicant take the GRE test. Yes, most of the universities worldwide gauge student based on their GRE performance. The scores in GRE is as important as your undergraduate scores. So let's suppose anybody who has done a B.Tech in Computer Science or B.Sc or M.Sc wants to study a Computer Science degree abroad needs to take a test called GRE. I have listed some top universities for you. Doing well in GRE is very important. You want to be a part of top schools like MIT, Stanford, Berkeley, Cornell, Princeton, Caltech. GRE is the key. Let's talk about students who have completed their electronics and communication degree. Few universities for your postgraduate or for your MTech or MS. Yes, biotechnology. John Hopkins, Georgia Tech. New Boston Mechanical Engineering Industrial Engineering Chemical So Jari is the key Let's move on to physical therapy. A lot of physiotherapist wants to study abroad. They can obviously go there. GRE is the key again. These are good schools. You can make a note of it. Masters in Public Health, it's a very important course for any doctors who have completed their medicine degree or dentistry degree from India and they want to be a part of a public health program in America. This is more like an administrative job for doctors. 
हेल्थ केयर मैनेजमेंट दिस डिग्री इज वेरी आइडेंटिकल टू पब्लिक हेल्थ हावेवर इट हैज मोर इलेक्टिव एंड कोर्स वर्क रिलेटेड टू दल्थ केयर स्टाफ and these are few good schools few universities now we are done with the post graduation programs the next presentation is all about the bachelor's degree people often think that doing a bachelor's from outside india is often very expensive however it is not who can make it possible sat this is the content writing mathematics and critical reading critical reading is an english portion writing is an english part mathematics is a quantitative aspect 2400 is the maximum marks scored we must know facts about sat it happens six times in a year pbt paper based test conducted by an organization called college board universal test even a us citizen need to take this test in order to study in their own country exam has a validity of 5 years so if one has taken in 2013 the scores can be utilized till 2018 time bound and online registration classes So if anybody wants to do a business degree information systems information technology finance accounting economics or real estate this is called a business degree as it is the key let's talk about engineering electrical mechanical biotechnology chemical computer civil and computer science so there are two computers there one is computer engineering which is hardware the other one is computer science anybody who is interested for a law program they have to take a test called lsat doctors test of english as a foreign language a very important test toefl ielts Few facts about IELTS. 
which is widely known as IELTS characteristics. Test structure. I have spoken about the exams. However, your academic background, program ranking, intended major, type of university, accreditation of the university, these things also comes into picture. These are one of the selection criteria in order to choose an institution. Scholarship, merit aid, acceptance rate, geographical preferences, campus size, the important things. LORs, letter of recommendations, statement of purpose, resume, scores, we are talking about GRE, GMAN and SAT. You must apply to 8 to 10 universities. Send all documents and then do a follow-up. Email is the most preferred way to do a follow-up. Once you get the admission, ask for a financial assistantship, TA, teaching assistantship, RA, research assistantship, or a merit-based scholarship. I-20 is the legal document based on which Pool A, Pool B, Pool C We expect students to apply to eight universities and we classify universities based on different pools dream schools which are higher in ranking perfect match Pool C, a secure option. Timeline. Once you are late, there is no point. Apply early. That's the key. And now the visa counseling. Everything is in vain if you don't get the visa. You must get the visa. 
F1 is a student visa. Some married people can also take their spouses on the dependent status. Anybody who intend to study abroad must have a passport. Even passport is required to appear for the standardized test. Most of people think that they cannot work while they are studying, which is not true. Few important steps, DS-160. Checklist.
Okay. Now I am done with the presentation. I, I expect um, you guys to ask me questions. I will be taking these questions one by one. Mr. Debutoshman. Can you repeat, can you, can you? Mr. Mahan has asked that his daughter has completed third year of B.Tech course in India. She likes to do an MS from U.S. starting fall. What is the timeline? First of all, she should get started with the GRE. Once she has taken the GRE, then she should start applying. And once she applies, she can obviously do a follow up, attain an admission, and then proceed for visa. Ganesh, is it okay to proceed with education loan alone without having other funds? Yes, if the loan is satisfying your annual or expense requirement, then you're all fine. Yes, if the loan satisfy your entire amount or your requirement, then a loan alone can be fine. Mr. Dinesh, with 720 GMAT, I would be requiring your CV and your years of work experience. Once we have that, We can obviously let you know some good schools in US and Canada. What if, if you get a 221G? Reshma, if you have a 221G, you can only wait. I'm sure you must be planning to join a university in fall, so you have plenty of time and it will be clear. Yes, Sahil, if you are from an ele electrical uh, telecom background. The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen only mode. Yes. Uh, s s hmm. Sahil. Sahil. Hello, is this Mr. Sahil Shah? Hello? Sahil, with telecommunication background and doing and I want to pursue a master's in software or computer science is obviously good for you. Atul, which course to submit is not in our hand. You have to check the university requirement. Some will accept you based on GMAT and the other will accept you based on CAT. Mr. Ganesh, the minimum financial commitment would be 10 to 15 lakh for an MS.
que sí ven. Should be you have to specify SEO. PhD in New Zealand, you have to Divyansh, you have to do a pre-application process. You have to do a pre-application process. You have to send your resume and your profile to the universities in New Zealand. You have to coordinate with the professor and the professor will decide. Vyansh, can you repeat your question? Very, uh, Sahil, you have very, very bleak chances and UFL has not admitted Indian students uh, this year. Stony Brook again is a very competitive school. If you're in a third year, I would suggest you to repeat your GRE. Deputosh, Yes, the answer to your question is yes. In case of funding as well, can you elaborate your question, Shilpi? Devyansh, which country is your wife targeting? Yes, she has to start contacting the professors in uh, universities in New Zealand by virtue of a pre-application process. Devatosh, which program in Syracuse? You have to, Devito, show a fund amount of 25 lakhs. Shilpi, I to Chicago, uh, when an international student join a university, if the number of international students are high, then the school is well e equipped and adapt to help students in many manners. Santa Clara University is a very small university compared to I to Chicago. Chicago is a better place compared to San Jose or Santa Clara County. How many places have you applied to Ganesh except Syracuse? Do you have any other admits? The comparison comes into picture when you have more than one admit.
Arizona is the best. ASU is the best. SU 25 lakhs Yes, Sahil Shah, two to three weeks is enough. Do take three to four full length test. Yes. Yes. Yes, yes. Any other question? Ganesh, I prefer you better take a loan rather than seeking another uh, external sponsor. All right, bye.
जी पासवर्ड भैया सिक्स एट वन नाइन 